to share with you one of the earliest attachments I got for my tractor, which is this Titan clamp-on trailer hitch. It attaches to the front end loader and has proven to be a very useful tool. So let me show you how I use it. As the name implies, it clamps onto the middle of the bucket, very front. A piece of pipe is handy for really cranking that thing down, which is very important. The hitch ball attaches in the usual way. Before we test this thing out, here are its specifications. It has a standard 2 inch receiver tube with a 2 inch bucket lip gap. It is 17 inches long, 7 inches tall, and 2.5 and inches wide. And it weighs a respectable 20 pounds. You can get it on Amazon for $77.95, though I bought mine a year ago for $69. The key to this thing staying on your bucket is this piece here. It must sit behind the back of the bucket blade edge. If your bucket doesn't have one, this receiver is not safe to use. Also, if you have a tooth bar on your bucket, you may not be able to use this receiver. Alright, we're off to try this thing out. Remember that targeting system on Bob's track loader? Well, I got me one too, and it comes in handy for this kind of work. Well, I wish anyway. Actually, I was standing up on the tractor to be able to see the hitch ball. Now if I had a smartphone mount on my tractor, I could have watched this camera view live with the camera app. Ah yes, the trailer will be much easier to move with the wheel chocks out of the way. Unfortunately, there's no good place to hook your safety chains, but I'll fix that once my shop is built and I get a welder. This type of clamp-on receiver can sometimes pivot on the bucket, especially when you have a heavy load and are pulling and turning at the same time. Although this is normal, it will wear the underside of your bucket over time. I have a fix for that too, but again, need shop, need welder. You might see this modification in a future video. One surprising thing about a front-mounted trailer receiver is how easy it is to push and maneuver trailers. You'll see what I mean in a minute. I think I prefer pushing a trailer to pulling it in a lot of cases. What do you think? Let me know in the comments.
So there you have it. If you have trailers that you frequently need to move around your property, you might want to consider getting a clamp-on trailer receiver like this one. I'll put a link to it on Amazon in the description. If you enjoy these videos, please help me keep them coming by clicking the like button, commenting below, and subscribing. Thanks for watching.